Hello, it's me, um, on this fine Saturday afternoon, uh, yeah, hi, hello, hello, um, this is just, this isn't gonna be me playing any games, this is, uh, purely me just talking for another hour, because I'm on my lunch break, uh, between studies, um, voice up, you want me to turn it up, okay, how is this, hello, how are we, maybe I'm just talking a little quiet in general. I think maybe I just have my, my settings just too quiet, like in general. Turn up the desktop audio as well. Yeah, I can hear. Hello, Smug. Hello, everyone. Um, Yeah, so this is just going to be me just chilling. I, you need it to be deafening. Well, I'm not going to put it up to deafening, Zach, because you're, you're, you're not the only other person in this chat. E-Pike is also here as well. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um... Rubric is just really small. Hello, Dis. Nice to see you. Is it is it one a.m. again where you were? I agree. You needed. To... Hello, Void nineteen eighty nine. How are you? I don't believe we've uh, been acquainted before. Nice to see. You. Nice to see a new face in the uh, in the chat. Twelve a.m. Ah, I'm off by one hour. Yeah, I uh, dog bit chows. Hello, everyone. Ah, okay. Everyone's coming in important. You ain't dead yet. Hello, Artek. Nice to see you. But, yeah, this is a lot more people than I was expecting. Hello. Pleasant surprise. Yeah, this is a uh, Dez. Thank you. Victim to one of the classic blunders. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders, my man. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Dez. You survived the car crash. Oh shit. For real or jokingly? I've never been in a car crash. I think my dad's car in primary school skidded on ice once, but it was never like it. What for real? Ah oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> well done, our tech. <laughs> I mean, on one hand. Hey everyone, hello, hello everyone. You rolled two, Jesus Christ, well, that's lethal, isn't it? Because cars don't have a roll cage, so they can crumple in. Wow, I've never been, I've never been in a car crash, and the closest we've ever come to it is my dad skidded once. Um, but that, that's it. 
our tech is clearly not as weak as you, but fair enough, fair enough. Wear your seatbelts. Wear your seatbelts. This stream is sponsored by Wear Your Seatbelts, which is not a product, it's a state of mind. I'm going to, I'm eating my sandwich currently, uh, ham sandwich. Wow, Smug was so surprised you're eating your ham sandwich on the stream. Yeah, 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 look, it's toasted bread and ham, that's all I need. Um, I've been playing a, I've been playing a game, which I actually, literally, I say recently, ham is a rare. I've been playing a game recently, and I was pretty much playing it yesterday. Can I wear my seatbelt on my head? No, idiot, that's not how you wear your seatbelt. Manta stains entirely on bread and ham. That's all you need. That's all you need. Look, if the if the Russian peasantry of 1849 survived... Wait, when did the, the revolution was in the 1900s, so this is probably historically accurate. If the Russian peasantry of 1849 survived on bread, I can survive as well. Uh, but will it also ignore the fact they all died of famine and disease? I will ignore that. And, and probably malnutrition. But still. Man fucking died of malnutrition. The game of, before you guys put me off with the ham sandwich shit, right? What I was trying to say is that a game I've played recently, and I don't know if all of you know about it. It came out in 2011. I literally put five hours into it yesterday. Um, It's called Brink. B-R-I-N-K. Like Brink. Like, oh, I'm on the brink of discovery. I'm on the brink of beating smug to death. This stream is also sponsored by eating your... Please eat food, three meals a day, and also have at least one piece of fruit. Hello, Jordan, nice to see you. Airbag isn't going to do anything to help you break your neck because it's aimed at your face and not your chest. Artek, I'm going to be honest, I don't know a lot about cars. I passed my driving test, but I haven't driven since July 2019. I haven't driven in two years, so maybe I'm a little bit in trouble. <laughs> I got a hydrate, of course. I've got my sparkling water. Summon a pun. It is all right. I'm dropping some knowledge on you. That's fair enough. Uh, a pun. I'm learning. Yeah, as the American. Best idea is to decorate your room with a pretty stuff. I'm trying to think of a pun. Meanwhile, I was tempted to reuse the one I put on Twitter out of spite of you guys not liking it, but it's all right. I won't. But I'll I'll respect you guys. Um, you suffer the consequences of your actions. I'm suffering the consequences of being alive. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm not depressed. Some people have genuinely thought I'm depressed. I'm not depressed. I promise you. But that was literally a joke. Um, what do you what do you say? If what I <laughs> fuck I fucked it up already. <laughs> Um, you guys know what a claymore is, right? Like, you put it, it's like the mine thing. Um, if you've played a video game, you know what a claymore is. You, you put the claymore down, it poof, explodes. So, I ran out of claymores. So, I turned to my friend Clay and said, Clay, more! Because, like, claymore. Claymore's not. Claymore is a sword. That better be a joke. Claymore is. Is claymore a sword? Is it a type of sword? Right, claymore, that big. What? A mine, like a hole in the ground. Uh, thank you, Arte. Thank you, Void. You see, these guys have only just turned up. Uh, Arte, I think, has been around before, but Void's just turned up, and they're already repping the jokes. You guys are, you guys are stupid. Everyone else who comes here already, be like Arte and Void. You know, be like these guys. These are the true guys. These are, the, these are the boys. Thank you. A claymore is a sword, and also laser crit mine used by the. Like, is it actually a sword? Whoa, whoa. We don't support smoke in these streams. That's not something we do around these parts. Smug, nah, nah, nah. We don't do that around here. It is a sword. Holy shit. Let me find an image of it. Claymore sword. Or is it an anime? Oh! Manga series. Is it from a manga? It, it looks pretty real to me. Why do they call it a claim? Is that what? That's probably what the mine is based off, isn't it? Scottish sword. Oh, okay. Claymore sword is your regular sword. Fair enough. There's a lot of different swords. And this is this is coming from the uh guy who wrote a fucking fantasy story about anthro people. We won't talk about that, although I will talk about it soon, because um exciting news is that the maps and and the book jacket are all with the publishers now. So everything on my end in regards to layout design is done. So the book should be coming out in May, which is two months later than um 
than the, uh, you know, than the mid-March release date. But hey, it's fine. But thank you, Artic. You should put that in the sequel. But, but um, the book doesn't necessarily specify like, oh, this is a claymore, this is a Fauci, and like all this different. I mean, there's different types of swords. It, it's not going to describe every single sword as this is a sword, but different. Like, there, there are there are different swords like rapiers and stuff, but it doesn't go that far in because there's like a long sword, but then you have a different type of that long sword and then a different type of that long sword. That's actually a bastard sword because its parents didn't love it. And then this is a short sword. This is a shorter sword. This is a lightsaber. This is a gun. Like, it's just so much different stuff, but it's like, I don't want to get, you know, maybe to some like fantasy nerds, it would be like, oh, I want to see more of that. But to me, it's like, I don't want to get knuckled down in the semantics of, um, of weaponry. But for some people, that's that's what they enjoy. I want a gun sword. Gun sword, best sword. Ah, yes, my favorite sword. A gun. Tell that to Zweiss. Zweiss will get very upset. Zweiss loves swords. Um, and hate guns. I'm um, I I like both swords and guns. Are both pretty cool. I I think they're very cool. Spoken like a true American. Yeah, that's 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 fair enough. Hundred percent. Speaking from the. I was going to say military industrial complex, but no, you could go to a Walmart and get a gun. I can I can already feel people like shifting in their seats like, oh, Smug's going to start talking about the gun issue in America. Like, no, I won't. Um, My voice is not relevant to that. And I'm sure people have already said a lot more meaningful stuff than I could say about it. Yeah, guns exist. Gun Guns are there. But yeah, uh, books coming out this month. I'm really happy about that because that's done. Two months late, but once again, I don't want to rush anything. Guns, not really. Yeah, I agree. Um, so there's that. And then I was talking about Brink. Smug question. Does your sword in the book reload? You're goddamn right it does. I mean, you can get guns and warm up partly because... Yeah, that's true. Channel just gave me the slow mode warning with zero seconds left. Damn. <laughs> Chat already knows our tech is here to cause a ruckus. To, to cause a scene. That's why. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, so this is uh, I've I've just put the stream on. I think just to show people that I'm still alive because I am so close to the end of my first year of uni. Do I hate it? Yes, I I hate it, but I need a degree. So trans right. Uh, I need a degree, and I like psychology enough for it not to kill me. So yeah. Um, once my 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 year my exam period officially ends on the twenty sixth, and then I'm free. I'm free until September. So, like, Smug, I just watched the last YouTube bot. I know you are alive. Well, it's just, I, I don't want newcomers to the channel to, like, oh, this guy looks cool. Um, I'm going to click on his channel, and then, like, I have an, I, I'm streaming once a week. Like, I, I want to show that I can stream more than that. Um, because I think at this point, this is something that, I think, I think this channel is on a trajectory to get bigger. Like, I don't, I don't think it's stagnant. 173 followers in a year. I, I think it's quite impressive. Um, so I, I, I just want people, I want to show people like, hey, this is something that I am working on. And I am, I am here. Smug, you got this. Don't kill yourself over this. Thank you. Honestly, I, I need to hear that <laughs> because, ah, oh, uni, I, uni, man. Uni is a new ball game. I went from, um, and I never, I didn't misspell this. <laughs> it's okay. I will, I will, I will believe you on that. You did not misspell this at all. Nope, not at all, not one bit. Um, I never understood this when other people would bring it up. There was a lot of people, I think, in my in GCSE, get big, unfollow us and block despite you. Um, I remember at GCSE, like, I I was a straight A GCSE student. So when I was sixteen, I had my GCSEs. Um, and we operate by a like a numeric system. So a seven, it goes from one to nine. One being the lowest, nine is the highest. A seven is a low A, and an eight is a high A. And a nine is an A star. Uh, the lowest I ever got was a seven. Uh, especially in maths, which I was surprised by. I thought I'd get a six. Void1989, thank you very much for becoming a rubric stand. Welcome. Uh, Discord's below if you'd like to join it. I've really got to sort out the stuff below. It probably looks really messy. But there's, there's a whole array of stuff to follow and, and check out if that interest you below. But, so I did really well at GCSE. Because arguably it is just a memory test. And I've got a, I've got a semi-decent memory. Um, so, you know... I'd, that happens, and then some people start going like, "Oh, you know, one of the issues I had when I got to GCSEs and I was really stressing out about is the um, 
is it's for, for sort of gifted and talented programs that schools do where like if you're at a young age like nine ten and you're showing like a lot of prowess in english maths you, you end up as a gifted and talented student um and i ended up as a gifted and talented student. i remember when i was 10 i wrote something about the chinese zodiac story and i remember i gave it into my teacher you know give it into your teacher in primary school and they read it there and they give you feedback my teacher read it and then called in another teacher to read it as well and i initially at the time i thought i was getting in trouble but no it was because um it was because they needed to make sure with the english literature uh, the head of like english lit that i that given me a high mark was correct and it wasn't too far for someone at age 10 and this isn't me like tooting my own horn it's me explaining that like so some from the outset you're sort of set up to be like this very you know high achieving high expectations or like perfectionist student and and then in a level there was a little bit of a struggle um thank you jordan for the heart i hate i hate that i read it as rubrics cube and my brain was like <laughs> yes people have done that don't worry you're not the only one um so i you know the a level was a little bit of struggle um a, i was getting a stars all the time in psych i was getting a's in history um biology was the only struggle and honestly i regret taking biology it sucks i hate it but um so cubrics rube I may rename it. Who knows? Um, I'm sorry. I literally just woke up and I'm proud of you. Thank you, Arte. Um, but I think the uh, I think the problem came when I when I came to university because I I came to university. But there's no doubt in my mind. You the grades you get in year one do not matter, and that's not me telling myself that. Year the third year is where like how you graduate matters. You could you could go through year one of a with a two three, and then in the third year get a, a first. Like that that is entirely possible. But I think the issue I had is I came to university, um, you know, with, with all this, like, oh, I'm going to nail university. You know, I I I got straight A's and A stars and psychology A level, and I got straight A's and GCSE. There's no reason as to why I ever go into university. I won't. And then in my first set of exams, I at best got 50%. And it was really, I'd, I'd, and then I understood the whole the gifted and talented thing as great as it can be for sort of identifying students who maybe need to put be put a little bit ahead to develop further it also like sets the expectation of i will never fail and god i <laughs> it's you know it, it's 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 a little bit self-destructive i think dang smug is so pog thank you jordan much appreciated i think actually, i haven't seen you uh recently in the stream so it's nice to see you that wasn't that wasn't me being like huh i'm gonna I'm going to mark this on your attendance sheet. Like, it's, uh, that's just me being observational. Haven't seen you in a while. We're a, lo we're a long, long way from Warzone streams, which is, what I, uh, which, which is what I used to do. I think Dez actually followed me first when I was playing Warzone Rumble. I remember that. And then, it, and then on that day, my sister and her girlfriend came over um, during the stream. Thank you for the hydrate. Ah. <sighs> Uh, they they came over. I remember. Yeah, and God, I honestly during during the whole time I had been streaming from when I started. Want to become famous? No, I'm all right. <laughs> I've got to get rid of the bot. Actually, Des is Des here. If Des is here, I will I will let Des do it. All those streams are the best knitting background noise. Time to be famous. <laughs> let me get rid of it. Was a Warzone one actually. Uh, Dez is. I think Dez is off doing something else. I'll I'll ban it. It's alright. I will ban it. Hey, Pretender. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, ban. Uh, username. Uh, lol cat. One two three. One two eight. Ban. I love to buy followers. That way I can cope with always feeling horrible about myself. You'd be a you'd be a great streamer. Our tech would be a great streamer. I agree. Yeah, it's I, it's insane. I started streaming like, uh, I'll 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 say the quote unquote anniversary is like June because that's when I started streaming on the Xbox. Um, I didn't know how bad it looked until I played through Soma when I was in uni because I had no clue the bitrate would be that bad. If I literally I could stand still, it would look fine. But if I turn to the right, that's, that sound effect represents how you'd be feeling when you saw it. It was like pixelated. It was like playing a 64-bit game or something. But 
now we're on now we're on the computer that we and then we had the i heard you say my anniversary is two instead of june <laughs> my anniversary is two. <laughs> oh jeez. now now we don't have those problems anymore did i did i for a month have my stream i like the stream of yeah oh my god the internet got so bad at one point when i was playing darkest dungeon that the the stream literally changed to purple. I don't know how that even happened, but it happened. And then when I got the computer, very kindly from TCHEP, shout out to TCHEP, literally gave me this computer for free and paid for the delivery. Um, I, I remember I, I, for a whole month, up until the end of April, I had been playing on 5,000 bitrate. It turns out the maximum bitrate is 6,000, which is reserved for NASA supercomputer internet. Um, and then I was like, so I was getting like from 11% drop frames to like 50% drop frames. And I was like, what the fuck? Is it my internet? Is it bad? And it was like, no, you idiot. It's because your, your bit rate is just too high for the, for the common man's internet. And then I was like, you know, Des, you know, your, your streams always look good. What's yours? And he was like, oh, 2,500, uh, three, 3,000. And I was like, dude. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've been stupid this whole time. Too fast for your own good. Running off ahead of my internet. Man. But now, we've been at 0% drop frames this whole time. The bit rate is too damn high. You're goddamn right it was, man. It was too goddamn high. It's ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. That, that was... Now we are in a new era of gaming. I'm really, actually, I'm really looking forward to getting back into XCOM. Um... When, when the summer comes, because obviously I'm playing Amori now. I'm going to be playing Amori tomorrow. So, hey, if you guys have got nothing to do tomorrow, maybe tune in for Amori. Hey. But, um, I'm going to be playing Amori, and when I finish that, and assumingly when I cry my eyes out, because apparently it's going to make me cry, um, if it makes me react to anything similarly like I did with Soma, then it's affected me, because I lost my shit at Soma. Not in a bad way, in a good way, but I lost my shit at Soma. Um, so yeah, once I play that, I want to play Lisa the Painful as well, but I don't know. I've got to see. A new era. Smug is a disgusting furry. What's new? I'm off for work for the foreseeable future, so I'm going to try and vibe out. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, you're off work for the foreseeable... Oh, I'm so I thought you said I'm off to work. And I was like, ah, that's rough, but you're off work. Very nice. Work. By the way, Regent Headass, you got a new... You got a Discord? Wait, Regent Headass? Regent Headass is here? Where? Where is Regent Headass? I salute you, man. Oh, wait, I'm Regent Headass. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I com oh, my God. Oh, I completely forgot that my name in that server was Regent Headass. Because I remember there was someone called Lord Headass. That's you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, I made my name into a mushroom. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I want to talk more in Casey 4's server because Casey, I, I love Casey. She's so cool and her art is so cool. Like, she's one of my favorite artists of all time, man. Uh, Stedelnik, um, uh, what is it? Kasu Say or Say Kasu? And then Casey 4's my, oh no, actually Zibby and Casey 4's. Those are my favorite artists. But I just forget and I'm always so busy. Like, I was, um, to this day, we still do not know who Regent Headass is. No clue who Regent Headass is whatsoever. Never heard of him. Um, I want to talk in there, but, you know, I'm having to spend from, like, 11 till 2, like, uh, taking five-minute breaks and then learning about the Cortico Striatum. No, wait, it's CSTC loop. This is something in psychology. The Cortico Striatum Thalamus circuit, which is like a worry circuit in your brain. Um, also, yes, there is a Discord server down below yes there is our tech uh it's below sorry I, I, when you i completely got um if you i'm on mobile so i'm not with down below is huh yeah i've set the tabs honestly I've, i i do have nightbot but it just doesn't work um if you scroll down there should be tabs there but yeah zach if you just right click on the uh, on the image and then just paste it into chat for the discord link oh that'd be great thank you um God, I've literally just forgotten what I was talking about. I was talking about psychology. Like, I'm spending, like, 11 to 2 learning 
psychobiology. Yes, Jordan, what's up? You said my name. And uh, I imagine a, uh, in a way, beckoning my attention. Um, from 11 to 2, I'm doing, like, like psychobiology. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing psychobiology. And then I have a, I have a two-hour break um, from 2 to 4. Um, but I woke up late, so I went from 12 to 3. And now I'm doing this stream during my lunch break. I haven't even finished my sandwich yet. Shocker. Um, and then from four to seven, I'm doing psychology now, which is stuff about animal psychology, um, like hypno hypnosis, which is actually really interesting. Um, but I remember that. Um, and and then also analyzing data, which I hate because that's the coding module. Oh boy, do I I love you know what I love? I, I I love that I signed up for a psychology degree, and then the, and then I sat down on my first day. And then I sat, and then they turned on the, I turned on the Zoom call, and they were like, okay, so we're going to learn coding. And I was like, what? They was like, yes, you're going to learn coding for analyzing data. And it's like, haha, okay, I hate myself. Like, that, that's, that's my uni degree. That, that's what's happened. That, that is, that's what's happened. Um, I'm going to put a disclaimer up again. If I say stuff like I hate myself, I don't hate myself. It's just a funny, relatable joke sometimes to some people, so I say it, but I assure you I am joking. Please do not be worried for my well-being. I am fine. Um, but yeah, the interesting thing about hypnosis is we have commonly we, we commonly refer to it as like a sleepy state. Like Zach even put it there, like going to use hypnosis to put your dumbass to sleep. But in actuality, hip, hypnotizability is like an increase in the suggestibility you have towards other people. Um, and there's like that. It's not necessarily that you're weak-willed. Um, it's more that ugh, I don't know what it is. I can't describe it, but I remember it. It was something that, like, the fact that you are more, like, hypnotically suggestible doesn't mean you have, you're, like, weak-willed or anything. Like, like you're just going to follow orders whatsoever. It's, it, I think it just correlates with, um, with like, how fantasy-prone you are. People who tend to be a lot more into, like, sort of uh, imaginative thinking are usually people who are a lot more hypnotically suggestible. And like I said, it's not just putting you to sleep. I think there was one study where you could you could you could be made to do some very like dangerous thing like I'm, I'm not even joking like there was one study where there was a percentage of participants who when instructed would throw nitric acid into a um into a confederate's face um no not confederate in you know the american history where confederate is in the research participant helping a researcher thing it wasn't actually nitric acid it was like they would say it's nitric acid, it was probably water or anything, but then they'd throw it into their face. And it's like, whoa, that's insane that people will, you know, default to that when they're being, hip, you know, suggested hypnotically. It's crazy. The brain is crazy and we know nothing about it. If only I had one. <laughs> Good joke, Smug. That will, yeah, I'm going to eat my sandwich now. Mmm. That was a good bite of a sandwich. It's very nice. You have a game to recommend. By all means, recommend the game. What is the game, Jordan? Hold on, I'm just checking the Discord because there is my... Uh... I was just checking the Discord. Um, it's Watch Dogs Legion. Oh, I know that game. Watch Dogs Legion. Um, it's not really up my alley. I probably won't play it. Um, it's it's just it's just not my kind of game. I do appreciate the suggestion though, but it's also I'm pretty sure is it on the computer? It's probably on the computer. But I also know that it's like next gen stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Not Watch Dogs has never really interested me. Uh, I've never played the first game, but Ubisoft games in general, I'm just not a fan of because they they're just so. The only good game Ubisoft has ever put out is Rainbow Six Siege, and that that is a fluke. That is a complete and utter, that was by luck that that game got popular. I'm not even joking. When they started development of that game, and if you look up early footage of you know people playing the beta, playing Terrorist Hunt, like this game was meant to be like, not it wasn't exactly going to be SWAT. But it was going to be a lot more tactical and slow paced than than a, than like a tactical shooter. Um, but then, you know, uh, 
people started to pick up on it and started playing it in a more of a first person shootery way and then they just lent into that direction and that's fair enough like it's a very successful game it's got like what 45 million people play it now on siege but which is insane that's so is it 45 million maybe i uh, 4 million i think is maybe a more appropriate number I, I can't remember but a lot a lot of people play it um by the way you can be old lady with a grenade launcher killing the shit out of cops and watch the oh i know i know you you do a lot of wacky shit in watch dog legion yeah, the only good game that Ubisoft, I think, has ever put out is, I'd argue, is, is um, what is it? Is Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, Mike, did you see the trailer of Dungeon Keeper thing? I have not seen the trailer of Dungeon Keeper. I, have, I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. I have no clue. Ah, get a sip. Oh, by the way, um... Um, just, just gonna say, in regards to the video that I'm making, it's done. Like, the video is ready to go, I've just got to throw in, like, a credit sequence. Um, it will be out, if not tomorrow, Monday. Um, it's completely different, um, to the usual stuff I was making. So, I do implore you to watch this one if you don't really watch the stuff I usually make anyway. Um, because I, I like to think this is a lot better, it's got a lot more effort into it. But, you know, I'm just saying it, it's gonna be up soon. Oh, I was just checking the uh Smug, what are your thoughts on Fallout? Smug go epic. Thank you, Jordan. I know. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. God, I I always say that as a joke, but then I worry that people genuinely think that like I'm like a pretentious prick. So like I've always got a disclaimer. Um my thoughts on Fallout, I'm not gonna lie, I've never played a Fallout game. I've played a little bit of Fallout 4 at a friend's house. I've never owned a Fallout game. Um Fallout 76 is was a scam. It was a scam. Um, I've had people say that, oh, it's, you know, it's actually a decent game now and stuff, but it's a scam. It was a scam. It deleted System 32 off of some people's computers. It was completely unplayable. The, the bugs were innumerable. Um, there, was re there was really shitty stuff going on about pre-ordering some of the merch, some of the, some of the games themselves. Like, it was just, mm, no. And it's really, it's, it's a worrying sort of step in the direction of the sort of, parceling and packaging and comp um, compartmentalizing what should be you know with the game and making it pay dlc and stuff so i, I really i it's cyberpunk did it as well where they put a game out that is utter shit and i don't care what president bambooni says on twitter as much as i like twitter it, cyberpunk sucked it was awful and most people couldn't play it and then and then the game company patches it into a somewhat mediocre playable position in a year's time. Like that is a shitty business practice, and it's a business practice. You put you, you push your developers to a stress limit of making this to a deadline, and then you put out shit. Like mm. the only time I'll say a company being bought out by Microsoft is good is Bethesda. Fallout seventy six is pretty cool, with one exception, rushed. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like I have a lot of, if. I know gamers suck, and I know a lot of people were like, well, well, I, I took this day off specifically to buy Cyberpunk, and now it's not out. Oh, well, well, I, you know, they're, they're spoiled little children. But I'd rather a game be delayed by a whole year, you know, than it be rushed and then put the developers under more strain. Like, it's, mm, I can't imagine the amount of strain the developers in Project Red were undergoing. Fallout 76 didn't delete System 32. I've there is an internet historian video, um, where it did. It wasn't like a widespread problem where it deleted it off everyone's thing, but for some people it would just straight up delete System 32. Like, and even for one person, that is like your code should not be doing that, like whatsoever. Bayonetta fans be dying for real right now. I'm playing 76 right now. Pretty fun to me. I don't know. I mean, once again, I've never played Fallout games. I've never been a big fan of that kind of game. But I just think it's a shitty business practice. And I I, I personally just don't want to reward it. This isn't me. Sh I mean, I've, I've played Call of Duty Modern Warfare on stream. I can't really talk about shitty business practice. 
uh, you know, like, so I'm not going to say that you're a bad person for playing it. But I can verify the deletion. It was the result of a patch getting access to kernel level. Oh, no. You see, it's like, mm, because Brink that I was talking about earlier was also made by Bethesda. And I enjoy it for what it is, but I also acknowledge that it was a completely shit game. And it was most likely another example of a game being just rushed out the door. Uh, the parkour mechanics are they're non-existent. And even if you try and do it, it's awful. It's slip and slidey. It sucks. The gunplay, as much as I enjoy it, tends to stagnate because time to kill is so ridiculously high that it takes anything from half a mag to a mag to, to down one guy. I bought the full game of it, but I can't play it anymore because I, it thinks it's a free trial, though it's not at all. Oh, shit. Well, I would say get in touch with Bethesda about it, but... I don't know what the customer service is like, so that, that you know, that, that's on you. I have no clue what it would be like. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just not a fan of it. I'm, I'm not a fan of those kind of games. Um, yeah, Fallout Skyrim I haven't played. Uh, my favorite game of all time is One Shot. Um, I, think, I think at this point we've all paid trial. Oh, no, paid trial. <laughs> Give us money for... For this game now you no longer play <laughs> my favorite game of all time is um one shot uh which, that's what i loved about fallout 4 they added survival and made everything a glass cannon instead of just a bullet sink oh oh it just made everything gla oh so everything like dies in one shot and stuff fair enough yeah on it's, it's some games some games for time to i don't know it's with it, with time to kill in games right there are games that literally make an incredibly short time to kill a game mechanic um, I don't know if you guys have heard of these games. They're fairly, I think, small scale. Plus, people don't tend... There's not, like, a massive fan base for realistic shooters anyway. But games like Rising Storm 2, uh, Hell Let Loose, Squad, Insurgency, these are games that, like, are built around the idea of you get shot once you're dead. And they're fantastic. I love them. Um, but if you go the other way, where Time to Kill is, like, 20 hours of just empty... Actually, no, Destiny 2 exists. And the boss fights are just aim and pull the trigger for 20 minutes until it dies. So never mind, I take it back. People do like that kind of game. You know. But I, I personally just... I feel like I, I enjoy games more over time to kill a little bit more snappy. Ooh, Destiny 2. I, I, personally, I'm not... I played the first Destiny when I was 13 and it got really boring really fast. It's just really grindy. So Destiny 2, not... I, I don't know. Look, if you enjoy games that I don't like, that's fine, you know? There's nothing morally wrong with that, you know? You you don't understand that it's completely wrong, and that's fine, it's okay, like, it's, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, you know? You're, you're okay for playing a game that is shit, but it's fine. However, it comes, it, you know, like, it's, I just don't enjoy this kind of game. Um, I'm, I'm more sort of, I mean, it is very cool when the health bar of the boss goes down by 0.05%. If you're into arcade crowd ballers, Tonight We Riot is free. Oh, I heard about Tonight We Riot because I listened to a podcast about it. I think it's called um, Video Games Have Ruined the World or something. And it was really cool. Um, I, I, I might get it. And I remember gamers lost their shit at it because it was like a, you know, like a, a game about rioting and, and anarchism and stuff. Not that anarchism is rioting, but you get what I mean. Like anarchist people rioting. And it's like, oh, look, this is, you, you know how gamers are. Video games are the worst thing on earth. I th yeah, that's the podcast. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm into crowd ballers, but I don't know. I've, I'll check it out purely because I know gamers hate it, and if gamers hate it and I like it, I'm in the right direction. I'm heading the right way, you know. Because it's 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 like oh god, sorry. I'm talking about like twenty different things at once. Uh, but what what I was trying to say is that I'm predisposed to uh to games that like sort of ch like have amazing stories um which probably isn't that surprising for someone who writes um not to sound like a pretentious twilight like, oh i write stories so i love story like i i just think stories are cool and it's fun and i feel like if a game has extremely tedious gameplay and is really monotonous that can be completely changed if you have a story that motivates me to keep going um red dead 2 for instance um I'm not going to spoil anything about the story because I don't know if everyone's played it. If you haven't, you should. It's a fantastic story. Um, and I love it. It's, it's one of my favorite games. 
Um, have we moved on? No, we haven't. No, no, no. You guys can keep talking about tonight. We riot. It's completely fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just talking about like, um, I, I was just talking about like why I like games that have like a real story focus. It's why, it's why one shot to me is like my favorite game of all time. Um, as well as Trash for Planet, but Trash for Planet had really good game design anyway. I loved it, and it knew what it was doing. But Red Dead Two is like, okay. The game aims my gun for me. Okay, the cover system is complete shit. Okay, the game arbitrarily decides to put my horse into a tree in some vain attempt to kill it. Okay, uh, the the sometimes the game decides to be extremely linear, and I'll decide that I wanna put a put a balaclava on my head because I wanna be a I, I just wanna be a bank robber during this mission. But no, now it's gonna decide that I can't have the mask on. Okay, I want to play Red Dead 2 like it's Deadbolt, so I want to have a skull mask on. Oh, well, you can't. You have to have it on. Like, it's, ext you know, some of this shit is extremely frustrating. But I'm here for the game, baby. I'm, I'm not the game. I'm here for the story, baby. That's why I'm here. I'm here for Arthur Morgan, man. Jeez, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm playing this game. The music and the way it looks and, and, and the, the Arthur Morgan. It's so fucking cool. I love it. It's great. So I don't give a shit if the game aims for me, or the game will actually, no, I somewhat give a shit that the game tries to kill my horse on purpose, fuck you, horses are cool, um, I, 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 I don't give a shit if the cover system is that bad, I love it because it's so cool, and I'm, it's an experience, and I love it, it's great, can you tell I like Red Dead 2, I don't know if you could from that, but I like Red Dead 2 a lot, <laughs> uh, Rubric, we gotta play Red Dead 2 sometime, well, um, could this computer run Red Dead 2, I'm sure this computer could run Red Dead 2, but, Sometimes to relax, I just walk around San Denis. Oh, goodness me. I'm trying to fit. Because I remember when I was in uni, and obviously I had Red Dead 2 on the Xbox. I, like, I was playing through it. I just had the most chaotic idea. Oh, no. Uh, the online mode. The online mode for Red Dead 2 is awful. It's dog shit. Don't get Red Dead 2 if you haven't got it for the online mode. If you want a good online mode, go and play, go and play GTA 5. GTA 5 has, is... Story is okay, but it's 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 multiplayer is fantastic. Although the number of people who are just now driving around in bulletproof tanks, um, like airship carriers and like laser spaceships is disconcerting. But... Wait, didn't you have a clip of Red Dead Redemption Two where you said your dog just sit wait what GTA Online is horrible? I mean. GTA Online is horrible if you're, like, trying to level up, um, because you just get curb stomped by random people. But if you're playing, like, mini games with friends, like Slasher and all this different stuff, I, I, I think it's enjoyable. But Red Dead Online is so, it's so vapid. There's nothing to it. Uh, try and, try and play the story mission. I'm at, this is a dare. If you have Red Dead 2, try and play a story mission in which you need to stealth. There's a story mission, and I'm gonna spoil the fucking story. No one gives a shit about. No one plays Red Dead 2 for the online mission story. No one cares. In Red Dead Online, there's a mission if you're on a good route in which you have to do a. It's like a stealth mission. You, know? you gotta, you gotta sneak in. You gotta crawl in, and like, you got, you, you need to have a bow to like silently take out the Skinner gang as you're going in. However, you're playing with other gamers, and other gamers ruin everything for you. So instead of stealthing it. One guy will get his double barrel elite shotgun and will just run in and just kill everyone. And then the, the like the sort of AI NPC is like, are you trying to get us killed? And then they'll do it again. And then the guy just has a shotgun. Like, it's ruined. And you might be thinking, oh, well, Smug, why don't you play it on your own? You can't. You can't play it on your own. Because when are people going to understand that I play games to not be around other people? I don't want to I don't want to play with him. I want to enjoy the game. Other people ruin the video game. Like, sure, I play I play Battlefield 4, but I'm killing the other people in that one. In this one, I'm, I've got to be with Dickhead A and Dickhead B as as they just run around the map doing whatever. Not to mention, if you if you like are just about to finish a level and then everyone else disconnects, you have to completely replay the level from the top. It's so fucking frustrating, and I. Oh god, I love Red Dead 2 single player, but Red Dead 2 multiplayer is hot shit.
do not get Red Dead 2 for the multiplayer. It's awful. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just take the GTA 5 route and just put a tank in there. Like, oh yeah, the Mexican army has developed a robo tank. Just to just because they don't give a shit about it. Like, it's so stupid. Oh goodness. I went off on a real rant there, but it's because I hate Red Dead 2 online. It's so awful. It, it's ah, uh, not ever. I'm gonna be real with you. Not everything needs a multiplayer mode. Not every game needs a multiplayer mode. Red Dead 2 did not need a multiplayer mode. Red Dead 1 didn't need a multiplayer mode. Sometimes you can put a game forward and just just have it be single player. Like just stick to your strengths. On PC, you can trick Red Dead Online and GTA Online into kicking you into a solo server you can invite friends to. That's how I play. That's fair enough. I mean, you can turn on, you can turn on passive mode where people can't attack you unless you like deliberately like hit the big red nuclear button to fight back. But then you get like called a pussy, and my ego is extremely fragile. So if I get called mean, if I get called a poopy head by someone on the internet. I'm I'm going to spend the rest of the day in bed because I I need to recover. <laughs> but yeah, Red Dead Red Dead 2 online sucks. And even when like you go into the multiplayer matches like the team death match and stuff, that sucks as well because it's so it's so meta. Like it's it you know, people are dodging left and right and then like managing to shoot you before they're even standing up. Oh, it's just stupid. Did you call me a poopy head? That's it, I'm ending the stream. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh Oh, uh, it's Red Dead 2. I love Red Dead 2. But I also hate Red Dead 2. <laughs> Nakey Jakey did a really good video on Red Dead 2. Um, They also did a really good video on The Last of Us 2. I like The Last of Us. I've never played it. I want to play it. It's not on PC, though, which is a shame. But people complained about the story. Um, Some people also complained that Ellie is gay. Um, for the second reason, that's not a valid reason to like a game, you're just homophobic. But the first one I completely get, because Naked Jakey also breaks down as to how kind of shit the story is, like, to a degree. Like, no. But I'd like to play it. It seems like a fun game. Um, yeah. Those, but I, but, trying to get back to the original point, which I've spent a, ten minutes tirading from. I like games with good story, because the gameplay can be shit. But if there's a good story to motivate me to keep playing, I'm going to keep playing. Because it's no longer just about me spending the, the two hours before I go to bed playing a game. It's now I want to see where this character goes or how this character does or how they survive. Like that, that, that to me is amazing. Like if you break down one shot, if you haven't played one shot, go and play it. I'm not going to spoil what happens in it, but it's an RPG maker game. So you pretty much walk from A to B and then hit the X or Z button a bunch. That's one shot, if you melt it down to its key mechanic. But I love it, because I give a shit about Nico. <laughs> I like the story of Watch Dogs Legion like a hundred times more than Red Dead 2's, and I fucking love Red Dead 2's story. That is a bold... Jordan, that is a bold claim. You're telling me You're telling me Red Dead 2, and you sa you've said that you love Red Dead 2's story, right? I'm not saying that you dislike it. You love Red Dead 2's story. I love Red Dead 2's story. But you're saying Watch Dogs has a better story than Red Dead 2? That is a big claim. Jay, that is a big claim. God damn. I mean, like, just because I've played Ubisoft games, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm a bit suspicious. Not, to, you know, like, like I said, you can like what you like, and I like what I like. But I like the story of Watch Dogs even like a hundred times more than Red Dead Two, and I fucking love Red Dead. Hmm. You said you like it more. No, that's what I mean. But like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think Red Dead 2's story is like so amazing. It's really difficult to, tr uh, to trump that. So I I think maybe we'd have to, to, to agree to disagree on that one. But fair enough. I didn't say it. Like, no, but it's fine. But I'm just, I'm like, I've just never met anyone who who has found a story, especially from a from a Ubisoft game, that's better than Red Dead Two. Because I think Red Dead Two is like the pinnacle of storytelling. It's just really, really good. God, I still haven't finished my sandwich. Oh, 
up. Oh, it's really dry now. So, Smug, what are you going to do next in the future in general? Um, I've got to study once I'm done with the stream. Uh, in 10 minutes, I'll be in the stream. I've got to study. Then I'm going to do the final changes to the video, so hopefully I can get it up tomorrow. Um, haven't drawn in a bit. I need to... Uh, I have a good... I'm not ending the stream now. Uh, eat a sandwich? Probably. That That is something else I will most likely be doing. Um, I will I will find stuff to do. I I need to get I need to get back into drawing. And that's not I haven't given up on drawing cuz I want to get better at it. But god, the demoralization I get when I go on Twitter and I I just see the other art and then I'm like, "Okay, so so this is how they draw head. Like this is how they draw a head. This is the head shape. Okay. This is how you draw a, Okay, that's how they draw a cat. Let me try it. And then the cat looks like a dog. <laughs> that's the problem. I don't know how to draw a cat head shape because, like, the snout is a lot more curved than a dog snout. A dog snout is more protruding. But for some, how they draw head. I, yes, I accidentally said that and I tried to skip over it, but thank you for pointing that out, Zach. <laughs> that's a mood. I don't know. I, I, it's so difficult to pull off. It really is. Like, I remember, like, the first stuff I was drawing of Mateo, who some people won't know, but that's, like, that's, like, the character I've created just to get better at drawing it. Um, but I remember drawing Mateo, and I was like, oh, yeah, I, I love this. I, I, I think he looks really good. And then I showed it off. And then someone said, oh, that's really good. You know, like, you've drawn that dog really well. And I was like, aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. And then I was just, like, doing a massive cross over it. Like, it doesn't look like a cat. It looks like a dog. <laughs> oh, God. But I, 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 I've done one drawing of, like, of a body. And... It was pretty much copied. That's why I didn't share it on Twitter because I I was copying to learn, not copying to brag about it. Um, but God, I just suck, and that's fine. I've only done this for like three months, and I'm better. I'm better than I was when I started. But holy shit, I suck. I'm poo poo head, bro. This this is ridiculous. How people can do, how do you do it? If you if you can draw and you're in this chat right now, how do you do it? How? How, who have you sacrificed? I will do it. I I am I'm at my wit's end. Smug, your drawings are awesome. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the support by suffering greatly. You can't draw cats because you're a dog. God damn it! Ah oh, fuck! I fucking knew there was a a catch when I signed that contract. Listen, even the poo poo heads can be better. I did one month of birds and I haven't done any more since then. You're not gonna lie though, you're doing pretty good. Oh, I can't draw what you're talking about. What am I talking about? Poo poo head? What was that? And yeah, your drawings are very, very cool. I mean, I'm happy with some of them. With some of them. Like, some of the Mateo head drawings I'm happy with. I think an issue I have is that I'll go on Steadlenick's page. Oh, just lots of practicing is a mistake. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I am a mistake. <laughs> hey! Um, I can't draw animals, but I can kind of draw people. I can't draw either. <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah. Oh god, I I think maybe an issue is that like I keep so like I'll I'll be like okay I want to learn how to draw cat people so then I'll go to Stedelnik's page um on the cursed E621 website because that's the only page on which their gallery stuff is complete there so I go there and I look them up and like alright that's how you draw it so I draw it and then I'm like that looks great and then I go on Twitter and then I see they've drawn them a different way and I'm like huh maybe that looks more like a dog and and the way I've just seen is more like a cat I'll try and draw it this way and then I try and draw that. And then I see someone else draw a cat a different way. They draw the snout this. They actually put the snout upside down. The cat's, the cat's a big cat. Like, it's... Uh, the problem with art is there's too much of it. I want one. That is... You know what? This, I was saying that as a joke. But I have just summed up what an NFT is. By saying that. <laughs> it's... Oh, that shit where they were going to burn down, like, a really, really like, famous painting just to have, like, an electronic version of it, that just have, like, an exclusive JPEG. Oh. Hello, Papa Bray. Welcome. I haven't seen you in a while. You know, I've been waiting. I've been waiting three months. Hello. How are you? That five months, actually. The last time I saw you was in December. Where have you been, pal? You've been avoiding me? Have you been avoided? Is that what's going on down under? You've been avoiding me? Okay. All right. I see how it is. You're scared of me. You fear me. Despite you being, I think, double my age. <laughs> You're not double my age, actually. No, not good. 
Can I send something I drew? Um, you can share it in the server, but I don't think there's really any way of doing it in the chat. And I think I prefer for stuff not to be linked to the chat, so. But yes, by all means, share it in the Discord server, put it in the gallery. Dog boy bullying hours. Well, it's 3 a.m. in NZ now, so usually when you're streaming, I'm asleep. Oh, oh I, I see. I see. Okay. That's a very good excuse, Bray. But I have video footage showing that you sleep at 3.01 a.m. Not 3 a.m. So you have a minute. You have a minute to check in, and you don't. I... This man thinks he's slick, but he ain't slick. He's a lizard. He's, just a, he's a little lizard, man. That's what he is. That's what you are, Papa Bray. Trying to outsmart me on my own stream. Not gonna happen. I'm really leaning into you, fuck. <laughs> Thank you for finally saying that. I was really leaning into the bit, and I didn't know if it was just like, just re getting really boring. Just like the audience are just sitting there, like, okay, can you, can you, can you, can you maybe be funny now? <laughs> oh, dude. Let me check. I've just seen it. It's loading on my laptop. Let me see what it is. It's taking a while to load. Oh. Here you go. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. I see what it is. Nice. How long have you been doing art for? I cannot do draw. I neither cannot do draw. It's fine. That was sent in confidence, you fool. It was sent in confidence? Confidence is... I, uh, I was going to make a joke. Then I couldn't... I was like, if it's sent in confidence... Maybe I could make a joke about how it's sent, like the way it's couriered, you know, but confidence doesn't exist. But I, I'm not funny. Have you gathered that yet in the last hour? I'm not funny. I will never share footage of me sleeping again. I'm so fucking mad. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, my man. Oh, goodness. Papa, bro. Cool. Share something with me. Idiot, man. That's what you are. Ah, oh, jeez. I haven't even finished my sandwich. I've said about five times. I get so distracted talking. Mmm. Delicious ham. Uh, like seven years, but I stopped for like a year. That's after a year of no job. Oh, fair enough. Nope. What's going on here? If you don't have Titanfall 2, Oh, this just sent me a tweet um, saying that Titanfall 2 is going to be free. I already have it. I bought it when it was on sale by like 90%. I was tempted to stream it. Um, maybe I'll do it. Oh, I've, I've just I've got so many games to stream. I've got, I've, I have got. need to finish Amori. I don't know how long that will take. I need to I need to play through bloody Before Your Eyes for Signatelli because he wanted me to watch it. And I want to play it as well. I, I want to play these of the Painful. I need to do another season of XCOM and Darkest Dungeon. There's so many games to play. Such little time before I die. So it's, you know, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> you must watch the video on the tweet now. Okay. You know what? I'll do that. I'll do that. And I'll get it up for you guys to see as well. Because I, I react to it. I'm now a reaction channel. Okay. Yep. Thank you for that. Okay. Let's see. Oh Tame my god. Mill. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, alright. That's Discord. Here we go. Cooper, we have obtained the milk. I suggest we evacuate the area immediately. Cooper, we have obtained the milk. I suggest. That was really funny. That was really funny. Well done, Dissonant. That was really, really funny. I hope you're happy with yourself. Everyone is laughing. That's it? Yeah, no. Yeah, that was really anticlimactic, dude. I expected, like, a, a sheer minute of pure laughter. I expected the Irish speeding ad, but... God damn, you disappointed me again, Dis. You disappointed me. <laughs> and I'm upset, so upset right now. Uh, I need to, listen, I think I laugh. I think I laugh, spirit. All right, I'm, I've been asked to do a minute of of wisdom, so I now have three drill tweets out, um, because that is 
Actually, I'm fuck it. I'm gonna read Joker Trick tweets out because I I've seen I remember Joker Trick, but I haven't. BT, we have secured some chocolate. Would you like a sip, Chief? I enjoyed that. No need to be rude. Papa Bray, you're probably right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I was very rude. Okay, so I am going to read the following. Actually, hold on. I can play video game music, right? Hold on. Let me find. Don't play the channel trailer. Don't play the channel trailer. Uh. Hold on. Okay. All right, let's get ready. Okay, let's go. Joker's trick says it's better to let someone think you're an idiot than to open your mouth and prove it. Joker's trick says the popular Joker character will spin his trick to decide when to make your game a lucky one. Bonus tricks, free spins, and a range of wild symbols are on offer to unique Wednesday game. But there are no good guys out there, only good actors. Jared Leto. Who cares? I'm the Joker. Joker, what's it called when you're depressed? This looks awesome and everyone likes the movie and blah 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 blah. Like to pretend. Via Kotaku. You numbskulls are messing up my plans. Joker. I don't have any friends. The Joker do a lot of good. But the Joker. I'm leaving you with this. Joker's trick. Joker. The last time I used this trick I took it too far. I won't use it again. Joker. It's better to let someone think you're an idiot than to open your mouth and prove it. And finally. Joker. What happens during Nightwatch to the Nightwatches when Batman and Peter have been together again? Then she says, okay, that's it. And, and yes, yes, yay. You also can't wait till the time of my birthday. I say yeah, yay, after realizing her plan. If I said one of them twice, it's because it's tweeted twice. <laughs> it's been tweeted twice, I assure you. I do not read things twice. Ah. Oh. That was, uh... That was a minute of wisdom from the Joker's Trick account, which I assure you is real. Does anyone remember how weird the key news channels were for someone to shoot up a movie theater showing Joker? I don't, but I imagine it's true. America's a weird place. Is it weird that I've already assumed it was in America? Because it's always America. That's beautiful. It's always America. America's just a weird country. Americans, I'm fine. You know, I'm Americans. I don't... No problem with Americans, because then I think that just gets a little bit racist. But America... There's, there's some stuff to be spoken about in America, you know. Um, stuff that I'm not going to speak about because I spent last stream ranting about cancel culture and a lot of, some heavy stuff. So I want this to be a little bit more, a little bit more lighthearted. Um, oh shit, we're over an hour. Oh damn. Um, I've got to get back to study, ladies and gentlemen. But it's been a pleasure streaming for you guys. Um, I'm going to find someone who to raid right now. Because we have 10 viewers that seems quite, you know, quite hefty, quite hefty. Um, live channels, friendly Ed. Let, oh, wait, Smug. What's up, Jordan? Hold on, hold on. Everyone hold your horse. Jordan wants to say something. What's up, Jordan? Also, thank you very much, Void, for the follow. Um, and thank you, Artek, for joining the Discord. I can see you in there already chatting with some, uh, with some people. I love you, my friend. Oh, thank you. You guys are all very nice. I love you all, my friends. Um, let me get the raid up for friendly Ed. Um, Friendly Ed actually raided me ages ago when I was doing an XCOM stream. Um, check him out, he's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what he's doing right now, I don't know if he's just chatting or playing a game, but he's a, he's a pretty chill guy. So, I will see you guys around, and bada bing bada boom, this VOD will be up on the VOD channel, check down below for YouTube, all the promotional shit. Bye bye, love you all, bye, grazie di tutto, ciao!